Hey, what's up guys? It's Alex here. Many of you know me from the uh, Samsung Vibrant forums on XDA. I used to make video reviews for um, the ROMs on uh, for the Vibrant. Uh, but today we're actually going to be looking at my Galaxy Tab, which I finally uh, rooted. And uh, I flashed my very first ROM on my Galaxy Tab just a couple days ago. And uh, we're going to be talking about this ROM and how it improves the overall experience on the Galaxy Tab when compared to the stock firmware found on a uh, T-Mobile USA Galaxy Tab. So let's go right into it. First of all, this ROM that I'm running is the Overcome ROM, uh, version 1.1.3. Um, this ROM is based off of JMI, uh, the uh, leaked build from Samsung, uh, in case you're wondering, and it was released on February 3rd, I believe, on XDA. So if you want it, look it up on the, uh, the XDA forums under Galaxy Tab Android Development. Um, okay, and let's get right into it. Uh, I'm going to be comparing a lot with the, uh, this, this experience on this ROM with my rooted tab uh, in comparison to the stock, stock experience. So uh, for the so I I want to help you guys out there who are still hesitant to root your tab, uh, decide if the if the pros of um, of rooting and uh, flashing ROMs like this outweigh the cons uh, such as you know avoiding your warranty. But I believe it will. So let's go ahead and uh, see if I can help you guys out here. First off, um, aesthetically the ROM looks really nice. Uh, this actually is not what you're gonna see when you uh, first flash the ROM. You're actually gonna see a desert wallpaper and TouchWiz running as the UI. Um, I've actually installed ADWEX on here and that's what you're seeing here. Um, okay, so keep in mind that this is not how it's gonna look, but it'll be TouchWiz. And now a couple key features that are in this ROM is if you look up here in the corner, uh, you'll see a battery mod that the developer has included. Um, nice circle tells you how much battery is left in uh, in numbers as well as a visual. Uh, so that's really neat. And also the notification bar here, when you pull it down, you'll see that this area right here is transparent. Uh, not a big deal, like doesn't really serve any uh, performance purpose, but uh, it's uh, aesthetically pleasing. So and um, as you can see, swiping up and down this notification bar now is a lot quicker. Uh, lost, a lot less choppy than it was in the stock ROM, which leads me into the main point of this uh, video is I wanted to emphasize how much faster my Galaxy Tab now feels and runs, okay? Um, things like just navigating throughout the UI by swiping across home screens, uh, pulling down the notification bar, opening the menu, going to settings. As you can see, everything is very snappy going from screen to screen to home. Uh, animations are quick. As you can see, I pull up the um, previews there. Uh, opening up the app drawer, everything is quick. Now, if it looks kind of laggy uh, in the video, it's not because of um, it's not because of the ROM. Actually, it's very smooth uh, at what I'm looking at right now. It's very smooth, but it might be because uh, the camera is in the uh, it's not picking up the the movements quite accurately in the dark as I'm recording this video. But uh, take my word for it, it's very quick and very smooth as you can see here, me navigating throughout the UI. And uh, as I try to bog it down here, as you can see, everything opens up and closes very snappy. Uh, very snappy. Oh, sorry, I can't talk right now. I haven't I haven't made a video since I uh, got rid of my Vibrant in January, so kind of rusty. But yeah, guys, uh, main point, uh, ROM's very fast. Now, the biggest speed improvement that you're going to see in this ROM is in the browser. Now, I don't know if you guys remember. Let me uh, end some tasks just to... Uh, uh, just to have a good demonstration here. I don't know if you guys remember or if you guys know, but the uh, stock browser experience uh, on the tab is very, very bad. Um, like when you're scrolling throughout a page, a web page, it's just so choppy, so laggy, and it's quite unbearable. And it makes um, the iPad looks so good in <laughs> in comparison to the Galaxy Tab. So that was one thing that really bothered me when I bought this tab and um, I was browsing. It was just very horrible when it came to that. So um, now this ROM is going to fix a lot of that. Um, as you can see here, I am now on Engadget's mobile website and f scrolling is a lot quicker now when compared to uh, the stock experience. Now uh, let's go ahead and open up a, a fully featured desktop version of a website to show you. Uh, we're going to go to PhoneDog here, uh, PhoneDog.com. 
And this is a, a fully featured desktop version which has a lot of pictures and uh, flash and stuff going on. So uh, typically on a stock Galaxy Tab, um, the experience would be quite horrible and uh, scrolling through the page is very slow. But as you can see here, um, the scrolling is actually a lot faster. It doesn't; it's not choppy like it like it is on the on the stock tab. Okay. Now, pinching and zooming on the on the tab was always quick. As you can see here, it responds pretty uh, pretty neat, pretty good. Okay. Uh, double tap to zoom in. That's automatic, very quick. Zoom out. But yeah, the main thing is that the scrolling through the web page is a lot smoother than the stock browser on stock firmware, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, that was a really big deal for me and that was one of the reasons why I really wanted to root and uh, flash a ROM on this Galaxy Tab was that. And another cool thing is that if you look up here in the corner, you'll notice that there's a phone icon here, which when clicked, opens up this dial pad uh, because this ROM actually features um, uh, features uh, support for uh, the dialer so that you can make uh, voice calls, video calls, and stuff like that. So that's cool if you're into, if you wanted that feature, that's one thing that you'll get if you flash this ROM. Um, but here, here's the thing guys, in case you don't know, you can only use either voice and uh, 2G data such as Edge or 3G data itself. You can't use um, 3G data and voice. So whatever modem it is you're using, you'll either have 3G or 2G slash uh, voice. So, unfortunately, we can't get both, or else that'd be pretty cool. But yep, the um, phone feature is enabled in this ROM, so that's that. And uh, let's see if I can point anything else out to you guys. Uh, yeah, just want to once again uh, let you know how fast the um, the browser now is. So, I mean, that was enough for that was enough persu uh, persuasion for me to 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 root the tab. So, and um, all the info can be found uh, on XDA on how to root and all that stuff. So, look there if you're interested. Now, um, one thing I gotta say though is what is slow uh, when compared to the stock experience is the gaming. Now, for instance, I'll load up the Impossible game here. Now. Um, Right now, it's set on high quality. See that high quality, high quality. Um, and typically, when I run this game, it's just very smooth throughout. But now, when I play, let's see if you'll notice. But there's some choppiness and lag, and it just bothers me so much as I play. Hopefully, it happens here, so I can. Sh there, right there. You see the slow? Look, it caused me to die. See? Now it's supposed to be smooth throughout, just like just like this. Um, but lag is evident and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the ROM or, uh, or or the game or whatnot, but actually it's not the game because when I originally downloaded this game on my stock tab, uh, it never lags like this. So um, I'm guessing it has something to do with either the kernel that I'm using or the ROM. I don't know, but uh, keep that in mind. Uh, if anyone else is having that problem, let me know. And uh, if you have any possible fixes, let me know. But that's one thing that bothers me a lot. Is on games like that and Fruit Ninja, I get like lag here and there, which is it bothers me a lot because everything else in the ROM is so quick, you know. So it's a shame that we have to sacrifice that. Um, in case anyone's wondering, the uh, kernel that I'm using right now on this ROM is um, Modaco's uh, uh, kernel. So this is the uh, one that supports EXT4 and uh, Clockwork mod. So yeah, uh, I thought basically EXT4 is like Voodoo on the Samsung environment, so it converts the file system on your Galaxy Tab from Samsung's proprietary RFS uh, system to the EXT4 system, which is known to be a lot faster. Um, just it, it's supposed to improve performance. Um, in case anyone is wondering or is curious, the uh, on the stock ROM, my quadrant score is around 900, somewhere around there. But after flashing this ROM and installing the uh, Modaco's kernel. I'm actually running 1700 around there in quadrant. So it's obvious uh, by the numbers and by the everyday use that it is faster. But I'm wondering what the the ROM is doing to the GPU as uh, I'm seeing lag in games. So uh, that's that, and uh, that concludes this little review uh, of the first ROM that I flashed on my Galaxy Tab. Overcome version 1.1.3. Overall, a very great ROM. Uh, good work from the developer. It's very clean. And uh, oh, I forgot to mention if you look right here, 
um, in the in the power menu he's included a link, um, shortcuts to reboot recovery and download mode so uh, that's a nice feature and um, I don't think I have time right now because I don't want to prolong this video too long but uh, there is a custom boot animation and um, actually you know what I'll just show it to you I'll show you the custom boot animation and then I will sign off uh, let's hurry up come on so same-o, same-o for the um, shutdown animation. And let's check out the uh, boot animation, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty excited about all these uh, developers starting uh, to work on the Galaxy Tab. Uh, sooner or later, we're going to get a lot more ROMs. And uh, they're going to improve the overall experience. Hopefully, we get a ginger, I mean, not a ginger, but a honeycomb ROM, which would make this tab that much sweeter. Uh, okay, yeah, whatever. Anyways, let's check this out. Good experience so far, guys. For those of you who are have been waiting for my vibrant videos, I am. There's the boot animation, by the way. Uh, and as it's loading, I'm gonna say for those of you who have been waiting for you know my video reviews on the newest Bionics ROMs or Xura on the Samsung Vibrant. Sorry, um, I now have a My Touch 4G that my girlfriend bought me. Um, so I have to use that and I've sold my Vibrant and I don't have a Vibrant now. My brother has a Vibrant which I can definitely flash new ROMs on there and video review but I am actually quite busy right now in school and that's why I just haven't even been on uh, online in general that often so uh, I just wanted to show off this ROM, this video because uh, there's, a, there's a lot of work starting to uh, start starting to be worked on a lot of work being done on the Galaxy Tab, um, but uh, no real videos to show off um, this new stuff. So I figured I'd be the first to po po post up a really cool, I can't talk, a uh, really cool video showing off a really cool ROM. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, more information down there in the uh, description box in case you're wondering on how to get this ROM. And uh, that's it. Have a good time flashing this ROM. I enjoyed it and it's totally worth it. Peace out.